In the words of a wise individual, we must stand up for what is right, even if it makes others unhappy. These words resonate with the principles of unwavering commitment to truth and justice, even in the face of adversity. Hemant Biswa Sarma, the current Chief Minister of Assam, seems to be embodying this maxim with unparalleled conviction. In his recent public address, he took a bold stance, unapologetically defending the values and traditions of Sanatan Dharma. His resolute message reminded us that the architects of secularism, that is followers of Sanatan Dharma, need no daily reminders of their own teachings. In an era marked by political polarization and ideological differences, Himanta Biswa Sarma's unwavering commitment to his convictions stand as a testament to the importance of upholding one's beliefs, even if it invites somebody's discomfort. As per his view, True secularism transcends the superficial and political boundaries, and his words serve as a reflection of his commitment to uphold the cultural and religious fabric of our nation. So join us as we reflect more on the underlying message behind Himanta's recent outburst against undue appeasement and the ill-treatment of Sanatanis throughout the nation. In an impassioned address to the people of Chhattisgarh, Himanta Biswa Sarma spoke with unwavering determination declaring, Hindus respect all but we will not allow some barber to capture our mandir in the name of secularism. Bharat was a Hindu Rashtra and will remain a Hindu Rashtra. Himant of Biswa Sarma went further, raising a critical issue that has been a cause for concern, the alarming rise in incidents of love jihad and illegal religious conversions, especially in Congress ruled Chhattisgarh. He unequivocally stated that love jihad, religious conversion or the murder of Hindus cannot be justified under the guise of secularism. His words are a stern warning, a call to action, cautioning that these issues would persist if the Congress were to return to power in Chhattisgarh. But the Assam CM did not halt at mere warnings. He thundered with conviction, questioning the very essence of secularism as practiced by some well-professed intellectuals. Is killing Hindus your concept of secularism? He asked rhetorically. His assertion that the nation belongs to Hindus and shall remain so, rejecting the notion that secularism justifies the construction of a mosque for Babar upon the ruins of the revered Ram temple in Ayodhya, resonates deeply with those who cherish India's heritage. Sarma's passionate address goes further, dissecting the distorted interpretations of secularism. He maintained, Religious conversion is not called secularism. Handing over the land of Mata Kaushalya to Akbar is not secularism. In his view, True secularism draws from the principles laid down by the profound essence of Sanatan culture. Himanta Biswa Sarma's resounding words echo a growing sense of urgency and a fervent call to safeguard India's cultural heritage, the complexity surrounding secularism, its interpretation and its far-reaching consequences on the nation's diverse religious communities stand at the forefront of the current national discourse. As Himanta Biswa Sarma takes up the mantle of preserving India's roots, his impassioned address stands as a testament to the profound sentiments shared by many who cherish the nation's age-old traditions. His unwavering commitment to these values is a source of inspiration and a rallying point for those who seek to uphold the essence of the nation's cultural heritage. This, however, is not the first instance where Hemant Biswa Sarma has sent shockwaves through both the political and the geopolitical arenas. A few months ago, the former US President Barack Obama made comments that invoked the wrath of several Indians. He suggested that PM Modi need to learn how to protect the rights of minorities, warning that India might pull apart without this lesson. In response to a rather snide comment from journalist Rohini Singh, who mockingly asked if the Assam police were on their way to arrest Obama for allegedly hurting sentiments, Sarma retorted with precision and wit. He said, There are many Hussein Obamas in India itself. We should prioritize taking care of them before considering going to Washington. This bold retort left many left-wing supporters taken aback. When Himant Biswa Sarma talks about dealing with individuals akin to Barack Hussein Obama, he makes it clear that divisive elements threatening India's unity will face the full force of law. This is the essence of the Sarma special punch, unapologetic and without sugarcoating. It reassures India that he's here, ready to spar and defend their nation's integrity with gloves on and determination unwavering. In a world filled with political rhetoric and diplomatic niceties, Himant Biswa Sarma's approach is a breath of fresh air. His unflinching commitment to the preservation of India's cultural heritage and his fearless stance against divisive elements have earned him respect and admiration amongst one and all, especially those who seek strong leadership to protect the nation's values. As the ongoing discourse delves into the intricacies of secularism and its interpretation, figures like Himanta Biswa Sarma remind us that at the heart of these debates are not just principles, but the very essence of a nation's identity.
In essence, Hemanta's address is a reflection of the waning patience within the Sanatani community. It's a common human instinct that when one is subjected to ceaseless abuse, there comes a point when they choose to fight back. The emerging anger, as personified by Hemanta, conveys a resounding message that enough is enough. It's time to call a spade a spade.